So, Father, we come as a body. We come as a family, crying out to you, Abba Father. We thank you for your grace this morning. We thank you for your love this morning. We thank you for your mercies this morning. We thank you, Almighty God, for raising us up this morning. We could have been dead, Almighty God, but you saw it fit this morning, Almighty God, to grant us one more day. And so, God, because you give us this one more day, we want to praise you like it's our last day. And so, God, we thank you with a heart of thanksgiving. We come praying to you, the only wise God. And so, God, we thank you for love this morning. We thank you for the cross this morning. We thank you for your blood this morning. And we ask you to wash us this morning, God, from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. God, we ask of you to take everything out of us. Our God, wash up with us up this morning. Make us whiter than snow on morning this morning, God. We ask you to create within us a clean heart and renew a right spirit. Father, you see all things and you know all things. So God, we repent before you this morning. We have one more chance to repent, God. So we repent this morning for the sins that we have committed, God. Sins of our mothers, sins of our fathers. Hallelujah, sins of our children. Father, we cry out this morning. Lord, we know that there's nothing good that we have done, but it's because of your grace and your mercy. God, we thank you for that grace this morning. The grace almighty God to save us. Father, we thank you for caring for us. We thank you for your abundance of love this morning. And so, God, we ask you to consecrate us even now to the service, God, for those who are coming, God. Apply the blood, God, as they reach almighty God. Put them in a mode of thanksgiving and of praise unto you because you are worthy. Oh God, there is none like unto you. In the book of Revelation, it said who was worthy. Only you were found worthy, God. And so we thank you this morning. We lift you up this morning. We praise you this morning. We shabak you this morning. We say that there is no God like unto you this morning. We crown you with glory this morning. We thank you for your blood. The blood that flowed from Calvary. The blood that never changed. blood of Christ Jesus. Lord, we pray that this morning that we are victorious. God, we lift up a standard in this place. God, every heaviness, every burden, oh, we put it at the cross this morning because there's nothing too hard for you to do. God, we believe you. You are the God of the impossible. Hallelujah. And so we thank you. We praise you, almighty God. We bow before you God we crown you with glory we cry out to you because God you are the only wise God and so uh, we crown you with glory this morning and we say being thrown God we put you on your throne because you are sovereign we put you on your throne because you are mighty you are mighty in battle oh God we'll lift up our heads this morning oh he gave we lift up our heads unto the kings of kings. We will lift up our head to the one who saved us and redeemed us. What a price, God, we thank you this morning for your blood this morning. We thank you for redemption this morning. We thank you this morning because, God, you are worthy. We will say, we will praise you, God, with every breath that we take. 
Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're here to worship the Lord. And we want to give him thanks for his many blessings. As First Lady just came up here and said that even now, people are departing this life. And look at us where we are. We are in the house of the Lord and we are here just to worship. Because when you realize that it's not because of any good, it's not because of status, it's not because of your complexion, who you are, it's just because of the mercies of God, why we are here, how can we not worship? So this morning we're going to be doing some songs and we're going back to the roots, the original worship songs. Because sometimes we have to remember where we're coming from to understand where we are today. Amen? We have come into his house, gathered in his Him. Is that why you're here? We have come into his house, gathered in his name to worship him. Oh, we have come into his house, gathered in his name. 
calling you to a higher place of praise to stand upon the mountain to stand presence of God. And uh, there's a song that says there is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. You feel it? You feel it? There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Come and lay down the burdens you have carried for in this sanctuary, inside Kingdom Grace International Ministries, right here, right now, he is here. So we're going to lift our hearts and we're going to just relieve ourselves. Whatever the burdens, I know that there are issues that we're going through in this life. We don't just look pretty so and dress nice so. Underneath all of that, there are challenges. But we serve a God who is able to deliver. A God who is able to sustain. And we're going to do that one right now. There is. 
is a sweet anointing it. There is a stillness. Sanctuary. Tell your brothers and sisters one more time to come and lay down. Say it with conviction. Come and the burden. For in the sanctuary, God is here. assures us that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear nothing for we know that God is with us. And now that we have relieved ourselves, we are here to worship. We are here to bow down. We are here to say that you're my God because he's altogether lovely. Altogether worthy, altogether wonderful to me. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say.
the glory we never really 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 know upon a cross that's why we give him all the praise Father, you're everything to us. Lord, you're our all in all. And we give you everything that we are.
Hallelujah. Just stand and lift those hands. Hallelujah. wave those hands to the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords are going to a time of intercession. We want to remind us this morning, over there, 1 verse 17, upon Mount Zion there is deliverance. Do you believe that this morning? Hallelujah. Philippians 4 verse 19. Our God shall supply our need according to which is in glory. No matter what the situation may be this morning, as we go to the throne of grace this morning. Hallelujah. Philippians 4, 6 says, Be careful for nothing but the intercession, prayer, and thanksgiving. Let your request be known to him this morning because he's the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. He's the conquering land, the tribe of Judah. He's the only true and living God. Hallelujah. We don't serve a Christian. We don't serve a, serve a Celestia. We don't serve. We serve a true and living God this morning who is able. Hallelujah. I say he's able. God, all things are possible this morning. Rebe shetela bababa soto. No matter what the situation may be this morning, what you have been going through this morning, Hallelujah. There's a river flowing here this morning. There's a presence here this morning. Hallelujah. Where the, where the presence of the Lord is, there is deliverance. I said there is deliverance where the presence of the Lord is this morning. So this morning we're going to a time of intercession. Whatever your need may be, just lay to the feet of Jesus this morning at Calvary. Hallelujah. Father, as we come before you this morning, we come before you, Lord, as your people this morning, oh God. You know where I need this morning. And to you is able to do a 16 above, exceeding abundant water all we ask are even matching this morning. So Father, we pray for open heaven this morning, oh God. Father, I want to thank you for your goodness this morning. I want to thank you for your grace. I want to thank you for your mercy. We want to thank you that you are covenant keeping God this morning. The only true and living God. Jehovah Elohim, the creator of heaven and earth. Jehovah Nisi, the Lord of our banner this morning. Jehovah Jireh, our provider this morning. Hallelujah, your provider this morning. Oh, we thank you for life this morning, oh God. Many are in the grave this morning, many are at the morgue this morning, but we are alive and well this morning, God. But I want to thank you for life and life more abundant this morning. So, Father, as we come before you, we want to lift you up this morning because you're only true and living God. We pray, oh God, for your presence to come amongst us and your people. We pray for open heaven this morning. Father, we pray this morning, we break every stronghold this morning over this atmosphere. We command, we speak to the heavenly realm this morning, the atmosphere, this hemisphere fear and the struggles we speak to this morning. We pray this morning for open portal for your Holy Spirit to come and dwell with your people this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We break. We break. We pray. We break every diabolic spirit right now. We speak. We address principalities and power. We address the prince of the dark of this era right now. Every flying demon we break their ring this morning. Hallelujah. Every astral projection spirit we address it this morning. In the name of of Jesus. We plead the blood against you this morning. We pray for open heaven right now. We pray, oh God, we plead your blood, we plead your blood over every doors and windows in this place right now. In this atmosphere called Exodus 12 verse 13. And we pray the strong man. We pray, we break, we break, we break, we break it right now. And Father, we pray for open heaven right now. Father, we pray, oh God, let your presence come amongst your people this morning. You know what I need this morning. How do we do, Lord, my God? You're a provider this morning. Some just in chariot, some in asses, but we believe in your name. Jehovah Jireh, provider this morning. Jehovah Rafit, our healer this morning. So Lord, arise with healing in your wing this morning, oh God. Whatever the situation may be this morning, Lord. Whatever it may be tumor, mighty God. Whatever it may be hypertension, mighty God. Whatever it may be cancer, mighty God. Nothing with you is impossible this morning, oh God. Father, you're the same God yesterday. Oh God, you are Jehovah, the healer, mighty God. You heal jealous daughter, mighty God. Father, you call us us from the grave. So we die spirit, if it's every grave spirit this morning. We call it to resurrect it right now this morning. We call it forth this morning right now. You're the one that healed by bad Timus this morning, God. Father, as he showed your name, Jesus, mighty God, he was healed this morning. Father, we pray this morning. Oh God, let me hope this morning. Oh God, Lord, we pray that you cause our mind to be transformed and be renewed this morning, oh God, to receive from you this morning, oh God. Father, we pray whatever your word gonna come to your servant this morning, mighty God. A word from your throne room, a word that we prophetic, a word that we have time like this, mighty God, that will bring transformation, oh God. Father, this morning we put the service before you. 
Not our will be done, but your will, Lord God. Not about us, Lord, but about you, Lord Jesus. What you have to be done this morning. Oh God, oh God, let formality, let nothing stop what you have to be done this morning, to be done this morning amongst us, Lord God. Father, we pray this morning, oh God, that you are give free. Oh God, let us be moved through the pews, the aisles right now. Sanctify the way this morning, oh God. As your daughters pray early, Almighty God. Father, we pray, oh God, that your presence, those who are bound this morning, God, that we shackled to be broken this morning, oh God. Father, we pray, oh God, that captive will be set free, soul will be saved this morning, oh God. This morning we pray, oh God, we pray not about us, Lord, but we believe in you, Lord, oh God. You're omniscient, mighty God, you're, you're all knowing, you're open, omnipotent, you're all powerful this morning, God. So, Father, this morning, let your dear sweet presence come and dwell amongst your people this morning. Oh God, we pray for your shock and your glory this morning. Our glory that will come, mighty God, and set us free, oh God. Our renew us afresh. We pray for our renewing this morning, oh God. To renew our mind, our thought this morning, oh God. To receive from you, God. Father, we put the musician before you this morning. Oh God, we put everything before you this morning, oh God. Let it be done to your honor and to your glory, oh mighty God. We pray for open heaven this morning, God. Let it be open heaven, oh God. Oh God, that when you do worship, when, when whatever your word go forth, it go forth with clarity and with power. Oh mighty God. Father, we pray for the surrounding community this morning. Oh God, we pray for sure. Oh God, for Greendale, we pray for new nursery. We pray, oh God, for Jones Avenue. We pray, oh God, for the persons in this region, mighty God. Father, we bind the spirit of extortion. We bind the spirit of death. Oh God, every satanic altar is operating, oh God. Every blood to a demon, every blood to an altar, we address it right now. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of Python, we address you this morning. Every miracle spirit, oh God, the right come from we pray this morning. We pray, we pray, every strong will be trampling of the serpent this morning. Oh God, to loose and set your people free, to set your man free, to set your woman free this morning, oh God. We unwrap them right now. We unwrap them in the realm of the spirit right now. We loose them and set them free right now. We unwrap them right now from the spirit of Lazarus of death spirit. We unwrap them right now. We have been tied up and bound in this community, mighty God. Father, we send for the Holy Ghost warrant to arrest them right now. Arrest them, Lord. Arrest them, Holy Ghost warrant to arrest them right now. Arrest them, oh God, in Tom's Pen. Arrest them, oh God, in Shelter Rock. Arrest them in Laristan. Arrest them in Joy. In Greendale, arrest them in your nurses, God. We send it forth right now. Holy Spirit, let your angel go. Let your angel go right now. Let your angel satellite, satellite this place right now. The atmosphere right now. Oh God, Father, one of bless you. Thank you. What you are about to do in our midst. In Jesus' name. Amen. And the say amen. Let's give a lot of clap of free. Let's give a lot of clap free this morning because he is able this morning. He is able. Hallelujah. to just shout another praise unto the Lord. Just lift up holy hands to him this morning. He is great and he is worthy of all our praises this morning. The Lord bless you. You may be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You may be seated. At this time, I take great honor in welcoming the presence of the Holy Spirit that has been with us since this morning. It's always, always a privilege to be in the same atmosphere with our Holy God. Amen. 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 At this time, I also want to take this time to honor our pastor, Pastor David Lewis. Man of God, we love you. And his wife, the lovely Evangelist Lewis, First Lady, we honor you. We have in our midst today a very special, special speaker. He's anointed. His voice to me sounds like thunder. Minister Michael Taylor. God bless you, sir. And along with him, we have Brother Jermaine Newland, and they are both worshiping here with us today from Wafif. Put your hands together for the Wafif members. 
Amen. Hallelujah. And I love, I love when I see our followers. I love that I'm seeing so many faces that are new. And at this time, I'm going to ask our first and second time visitors to please stand so that we can properly acknowledge you and give you the Cajun welcome. Oh my God. Thank you so much for choosing us as your house of worship. We are glad that you chose to come and worship with us today. And we want to let you know that there's always room here for you. So feel free to come and worship it, worship with us again. And for our resident KG members, a special welcome to you. Thank you for showing up this morning. And thank you in all your glory worshiping the Lord. To those who are viewing on YouTube, thank you so much for choosing to tune in today to today's, today's service. And I would want to give a special welcome, a special invitation to you for you to visit us in-house. If you have not yet touched your feet in K-Gym, I'm inviting you this morning to come and visit us. We begin at 8.30 on a Sunday and we are at Sharp Shop 7, Phil's Hardware Plaza in Twickenham Park. Yes, we really would like for them to attend. At this time, we have a few announcements, and they are as, follow as follows. On a, when, on a Tuesday at 11 a.m., we have fasting service. So it begins at 11, and it goes up until about 1 p.m. So we're inviting you to join us on a Tuesday inside the sanctuary for fasting and prayer. We also have Bible study that is held on a Wednesday, and that's on our Zoom platform, and it begins at 7.45 p.m. So that's Wednesdays at 7.45 p.m. We have our Bible study and prayer service on Zoom. If you do not have the link, please feel free to reach out to one of us at the end of the service, and we'll be happy to share that link with you. And just to remind you that we have our One Soul More campaign that remains active. And our One Soul More campaign is an initiative here in Cajun where we're very serious about evangelism. And we always encourage our members to invite One Soul More. Amen. So at this time, I want to hear all our youth. Just tell me what is going to happen next week, Sunday. Just shout it out. And I saw it name. What is happening on Sunday, the 18th of September? All right. Youth in action. I saw it name. Because we're going to have our youth be in action. And yes, it is Youth Sunday, but it is the youth in action. And that happens every third Sunday. And it will begin this Sunday, the 18th of September. So we're excited about that. Amen. And as we're talking about our youth, we have some very brilliant KGMites, the young people who sat Cape and CSEC and were successful. And at this time, I want any CSEC persons, any CSEC awardees that are with us today to just stand so we can celebrate with you. You did CSEC and you were successful. Just stand. Right. Awesome. Awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations to your daughter as well. Look at God. That is wonderful. And as I'm standing, I'm proud to say that my third former did a C-Sex subject and he was successful. Yes, so big up, big up the excellent, brilliant, brilliant youth of KJM. All right, so you know that we are an impactful ministry. We are all about impact, right? Impact? Amen. And as we are set on impact for the 29th, on the 29th and the 30th of this month, I want you to mark your calendars and save the date because we will be having an impact 
conference. It's a two-day conference that is going to be on the 29th of September and the, and the 30th. That's a Thursday and Friday. And it will be right here in the house of K. James. So we're inviting you, those also watching on YouTube, to please join us. Stay tuned for additional details on that as to who our speakers and psalmists and so on will be. Is there anyone among us today that celebrated their birthday in the past week? You're going to be celebrating it this week with a birthday, anniversary, anything? Choose a coming. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. So we celebrate with her. Yes, put your hands together for her. Put your hands together for her. Yes, so God bless you. God bless your mom. And we pray that you will have a very, very wonderful day. And all your dreams will come to realization for this birthday. And for those who are watching, if you would have celebrated anything within the past week, we celebrate with you and we say, God bless you. So now it's time for us to go around and greet each other. We're still observing the protocol, so please just greet with your elbow. And we're going to be singing our welcome song. And it's very simple. It says it's good to see you. And greet each other now. It's good to see ya. We're glad you're here. It's good to see ya. We're glad you're here. You're looking so very good. Tell two more persons, neighbor, I'm glad to see you. And you're looking so very good. Give them a high five and tell them you love them, 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 you love them. 
I need somebody to help me praise Jesus. Somebody to help me praise Jesus. I need somebody. Come on, church. To help me praise Jesus. And I close my eyes and help me praise Jesus. And the man Christ Jesus is here in this room Hallelujah. right now. The grace of God is here. I'm telling you, even now, yokes are being broken over your Hallelujah. lives. Even now, even now, even now, I'm telling you, sickness and disease is dropping out Hallelujah. of somebody's body. Let somebody shout now. Now. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. yes, yes. We're mean business this morning. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, there are some persons in the hospital right Hallelujah. now. They would have loved to be here. Here, yeah, yeah, but they are not. You better give God Hallelujah. a praise for help. Is there somebody that has a praise Hallelujah. for help? My God Almighty. Oh, praise 
of the West Indies mm. and she is in her bed sick Hallelujah. but we are believing right now that the spirit of, of God is going to visit is her is going to visit that bed the name of my Jesus. God do we have somebody here that is Hallelujah. ready to tap into the healing virtue of God that is going in this house yes 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 my God Right now. That is laying in right the hospital. Now. We command right our now. organs, every cell, right to now. come in a line with the word of God. We release the healing the virtue of God and we declare that she's the being Lord. made whole. When, 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 when? Right now. right now. In the name in the of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, 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 yes. I said, when, the church, when? Now. Very quickly, if you have a terminal illness, sickness in your body that you've been battering with for years, I want you to run call right now. We're going to lay hands on you and you're going to be healed by the power of God. Make sure you extend your faith because healing is coming. Healing is here. Healing is here. Yes, yes. Anybody else? Run, come, run, come, run, come. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Like you, you, you don't look like you believe. You're serious. I'm telling you, you're healed. You know. Do you believe that you're healed? Yes. Is there somebody that's going to believe with her right now that she's In the healed? Name of Jesus. And give the Lord some Yes, yes, yes. 
Woman, woman, stand up. She can hear me. Stand up. Yes, help her up. Stand up, daughter. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You're good, man. You're good. Come, stand up. Stand up. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody say yes. Yeah, she must be delivered today. Hallelujah. 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 Every stronghold must be broken. And every demonic power, every demonic power must come out. Somebody say out. Yes, yes. We're gonna bring, we're gonna, we're gonna bring her, we're gonna bring her here. We're gonna bring her here. Man of God, we're gonna bring her here. I need two more persons. Let's help her. Right there in the back. Yes. Let the church say yes. Clap your hands and give the Lord praise. Lord. She's being delivered. Yes, and we have somebody here being set free of every sickness and disease.
something this year. I just heard the voice of the Lord say that grace, a special grace is here and it's going to be released upon you with you saying yes. You're not yet saved and you want to give your life to the Lord. I want you to come right now. I'm going to pray for you because there's a grace that God wants to release in your life. But that key is salvation. Somebody say salvation. salvation. Somebody say salvation. salvation. I want you to come right now. If you're not yet saved, I want you to come. I want you to come. Yes, you're locked up in a season of dryness. But today, no more dry season. No more dry season. We're gonna start. We're gonna start with the unsaved first. If you're not yet saved and you're believing God to move you out of this season of dryness, right now is the time for you to give your life to the Lord. I'm asking you to come now. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds. If you don't come in 10 seconds, then we're gonna move to those persons who are already saved. Yes. Eight seconds, six, four, good, nobody unsaved, you don't want it, that's all right, for those persons who are saved now, you're in the body of Christ, but you know that you have been experiencing a season of dryness, God is saying, behold, today he's doing something new, waters in your dry places, he's about to make a way in your wilderness. I'm going to ask you to come. There's something I'm going to activate on you right now. Yes, yes, lift your hands right now and just give the Lord thanks. 
I'm telling you, it is done. It is done. I am just seeing the Spirit of God just falling on you. I'm just seeing the Spirit of God just resting on you. Just resting on you to confirm His move. Somebody wave your hands and give the Lord a worship. A wave offering. A wave offering. A wave offering. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Change the agreement Hallelujah. with heaven right now come in agreement with heaven right now yes. demons and strongholds are being cast out right now somebody clap your hands and just give the Hallelujah. lord praise a praise a praise a praise yes, yes. come on clap those hands and thank the lord come on clap those hands and thank the lord yes 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 no spirit of darkness can come in the presence of god Exalt itself, it must be cast out. Must be bound. Somebody say amen. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You may be seated, beloved. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Very powerful. I'm telling you, today is a very serious God. Serious day, serious day because we serve a very serious God. Beloved, when we come to church, believe me, it is business. It's not a joke thing. If you believe that you serve a God that is a serious God, I want you to say amen. amen. We serve a God that is serious. God's business is serious. And so when we come into the presence of God, yes, you better expect the unexpected. Some of you, you came in here sick, but you are leaving here healed. Yes, others, you came in here feeling heavy. My God Almighty, weighed down, weighed down with the pressures of life, but you're going to leave here being very light. Yes, yes, somebody say, I agree. Yes, yes, the power of God is here. The power of God is here. We're going to be getting ready to flow into our tithe and offering. There's a very powerful atmosphere here to break chains of darkness. Yes, 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 yes. That spirit of lack and that spirit of disease, that spirit of sickness is broken. And today we are reminded by the word of God that says that we should give and it will be given back to us. Full measure, pressed down, shaken together and, and running over. Yes, and we're reminded the word of God says that if we sow sparingly, we will what? Yes, but if we sow plentifully and generously, we're going to reap bountifully. Yes, yeah, somebody clap your hands and give the Lord praise. So I'm going to ask you right now to reach into your pocketbooks. Everybody take out their offering. Take out your tithing. Take out whether it be your seed offering, your seed gift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something very powerful is going to happen today when you give, beloved. And remember, this is a very, this is a very solemn moment, a very solemn moment. I want everybody to focus. You're going to put an assignment, that assignment, that need, you're going to put it to that seed. Assign the need to the seed. And when you plant that seed today, when that seed dies, that need will also die with it so it can spring forth fruit. Somebody say fruit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, beloved, yes. Just get, your, get yourself in the frame of mind to give. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. Prepare your offering, prepare your tithing, get it in your hand take the next few seconds to assign that 
need to their seed that you're going to be planting right now while the musicians play very softly. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. The spirit of lack is going to be broken today because of somebody's seed. Somebody's about to walk in newness because of that seed that is being planted. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. Somebody just say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. To break. Break every chain.
relative that promised you, they were in, they're in the diaspora, they promised you some money, and it's been a long while that they haven't sent it. They said that they're going to send the money and they don't send it. The Lord is saying that today it's going to be released. You're going to get that money pretty soon and you're going to come and testify about it. If you are here, just lift your hands wherever you are and say, I receive. Yes, 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 yes. They tell you that they're going to send it and all. No, you don't see it. But while I was praying, the Lord says, today, when you sow that seed, he's releasing it to you. Somebody say yes. Yes, clap your hands if you receive it. church is supposed to be like, you know, man. Yeah, man, yeah, man. This is what church is supposed to be like. No demonic spirit is supposed to feel like they can come in the presence of God. Yes, and stay. They must be bound and they must be cast out. Let the church say out. Hallelujah. We thank you for coming today. We're going to be moving along. We want to remind everybody, uh, Sister Jolene mentioned it earlier, we have two days of conference impact conference and the theme of the conference will be souls and territories very very important that you be here on september 29th and 30th we are going to start at 6 45 in the evening thursday and friday september 29th and the 30th we are inviting everybody you have to be here it promises to be great it is going to be powerful we're going to have apostle mclean our father and the lord somebody clap your hands for him he's going to be our guest speaker on friday night it's going to be very very powerful so you have to be there amen Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. I want you to stand with me for one last time. We're going to be introducing our morning speaker. Praise the name of our Lord. He's, a, he's no stranger to Kingdom Grace. He was here to help us kickstart when the ministry just started. He is a man of God. He is a son of the soil. And he's here to deliver a word to our hearts. Beloved, I want you to put your hands together and just thank the Lord and help me welcome Minister Michael Taylor to deliver the word. To deliver the word. Somebody just clap your hands in front of Stephen and thank the Lord for the man of God as he comes. God bless you, man of God. Hallelujah. We give God thanks. Let's put our hands together for the King of Kings. Let's put our hands together for the Lord of Lords. Let's lift up the King. If Jesus did anything for you, let's shout out a praise to Him. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to our healer. Hallelujah to our deliverer. In everything we give thanks. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts. We pray with praise. Let's take 60 seconds and give him glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart, be acceptable unto thee, O God. We lift you up, King of Kings. We could have been dead. You could have lost your mind. But God has given you the privilege to praise him. And he said in his word, let everything that had bread. Uh, uh, uh. Play, praise him on the instruments a little. Praise him on the drums a little. Let us lift up the king of kings. The devil is not going to steal our worship today. The devil is not going to steal our worship today. The devil is not going to steal your breakthrough, your manifestation. Somebody put your hands together and give him glory. Lift your voice and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We give God thanks for pastor and first lady. Amen. Louis, put your hands together for them. We give God thanks for the privilege to be here. I give God thanks uh, for to be here another time. Amen. I give God thanks for you. You know, it's so happy to be with you another time. 
Uh, God has been doing great things. Amen. Amen. I come with greetings on behalf of Apostle Court about clean and uh, the entire Worship and Faith International Fellowship. Come with greetings on behalf of them. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord a little bit. We're going to have a good time in the Lord. Amen. 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 God is good. You know, God is up to something. I must say that I'm very happy to see what God is doing here through the man servant, the woman servant. Yeah, I can see that God is moving. Amen. 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 I want to share with you the word today, but I want to share. I'll start with a demonstration. I want to share with you. I took, I stole my wife's candle. I say, she didn't even know. She, she gone. Let me just take it. But, you know, last night before I came, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me. Man of God asked me to speak about serving. And he showed me this. The Lord said to me, you know, this is a candle here. Amen. And it's what you call a scented candle. And it's just wax, you know. And without fire, without lighting up, it's just, it's just taking space. You know, it's just there for decor. You know, and it's just, it's just there. You know, and what can you do with wax anyway? <laughs> you can't eat it. There is nothing much you can really do with it. But whenever it is lit, it begins to light up. Amen. It gives light. For those that cannot see, but but not only that it gives off a scent a fragrance an aroma and what it does is shifts the atmosphere it, it changes the mood of the atmosphere and he said to me serving is like that serving is like that you see the wax goes through a rough stage to give you light and for you to serve, it takes you out of your comfort zone. <laughs> and it brings you into an uncomfortable state many other times. But if you never light up, you will never shine. You will never fulfill purpose. You will never fulfill your call. If you never come out of your comfort zone, you will never accomplish purpose. You will never accomplish that which you came here to do. And he says, just like a candle lights up. It's just like serving. Many of us, we have gifts, we have talents, we have abilities. But if we never give it, we'll never light up. There are three things I want to talk to you about today. The Lord placed on my heart to talk to you about. And we're going to talk about serving, but there are three things I want to, I want to say to you. And he says, uh, the giving of your light will cause recognition. The giving of your light will cause reward. And it will cause revival. Somebody say amen, if you understand what I'm saying. Now, the Bible says in Matthew 5 and verse 16. I want to make it as simple as possible. And Matthew 5 and verse 16. The Bible says in the NLT version, it says, In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. When they see what God is doing through you. We're going to camp out there. But Matthew 5 and verse 16 in the New King James Version says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. Underline that word. Take note of that word. Good works. Good works. And what? Glorify your Father in heaven. 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for today. I thank you for clarity. Lord, flow through this place. Let your power come. Let your deliverance come. Let your healing come. Even now, by the power of the blood of the Lamb, let shackles be broken. Let chains be broken. Let deliverance take place. I bind every strong man operating over this region. And we command every enemy spirit to scatter by force, by fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ, this ministry cannot be stopped we will grow, you will grow, we will grow, we will grow and impact Jamaica and impact this city in a great and grand way in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you stand in agreement, say amen. So tell your neighbor, neighbor, light up, light up, light up. Don't sit there and take up space. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, you see, pride is different from confidence. You can also be so also oh, prideful, but then you can be very confident. There's a thin line in between it. God wants you to be confident. He wants you to shine. But he doesn't want you to be prideful. Amen? So whatever he has placed inside of you, he wants you to give it. Somebody say give. He wants you to give. People that don't give are one of the most miserable set of people you'll ever find in this life. Some funerals I go to, I know that person is not a giver. Because when you give, my God... The world will be drawn to you. When you go to certain places and see the support that people get is the measurement of their giving. When you give, it is impossible not to receive. Oh my God, hear me now. Hallelujah. The candle by itself is just a decor. It's just wax. But, but, but then it gives off heat. No, no, when it is heated, when the light comes, the wax melts. It, it, it brings it in an uncomfortable state. Because now my regular shape is shifted. I'm now broken. Oh, that's what serving does to you. Shifts up your schedule. What you plan for, you have to be doing something else because you have committed, you have surrendered to serve him. But however, in your giving, you will light up. In your giving, you will leave a mark. You will leave an aroma. So even when, even if I light this candle now and leave it here after a while, if I move the candle, there is still an atmosphere that it already created. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. God forbid, if God should bless you with a building now, my God, and then you begin, you leave and go to a next place, this place will never be the same. Oh my God. Some of you, the, 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 your boss knows, your manager knows, if you leave that place, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Because of what you have done, you have shifted the entire thing and you have left a mark wherever you go. Somebody say, I press toward the mark. You see, what it does is, I call it good works. What I call good works is the admirable thing that you are occupied doing. The admirable thing that you are occupied doing. You are not doing it to be seen, but my God. The level of your service, it's hard to not recognize it. And that's, what, that's what good works is. Because good means beautiful, handsome, excellent, choice, surpassing. And then work means business, employment, that which anyone is occupied. What are you occupied doing every day of your life? What are you occupied doing? What are you occupied doing? You have got to check yourself. Are you really fulfilling that which God sent you here to do? Or are you just taking up space? 
There's a mission that God is calling to you. God is calling you to light up no matter how young you are. Brought my son to the camp with us. And I saw that the boy was making a little impact. While I was ministering on the platform, he's down there. He checked the young people that are crying. And then he says, why are you crying? And he begins to hug them. And he begins to lay hands on them. I say, go light up, son. Light up the world. Whatever God has placed inside of you is not you to, it is not for you to keep, it's for you to give. The place I live now, I'm only there for a couple months, but my God, every all the while, I have to be talking to people after green, 7 a.m. in the morning. Somebody's calling me, man of God. There's a demon around the road manifesting. I said, Lord Jesus, what is this? Is this what I signed up for? And then I said, yes, Lord, I'm ready to serve you. I'm here to light up. This is what you sent me here for. I'm here to light up. I'm here to light up. My neighbor came and he spoke to me and he told me the warfare that he's going through. I said, I'm, I'm here to stand with you. I am here to light up. I am here to fulfill the Father's will. Whatever it takes, whatever is it demands of me, I'm here to fulfill it. Do not live a selfish life. You will get a selfish reward. Both in this life and the life to come. Number one, you will be recognized. Recognition. Your service in excellence will cause you to be recognized. Proverbs 8 and 4 and verse 18. Put the path of the just, but the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. Right? That don't hashtag that put that somewhere. The path of the church. You will shine wherever you go. Whatever you do. When you begin to give to the magnitude that you should it will grow you from glory to glory. From one dimension to the next. You will carry the fire of God and you will be recognized. Not doing it to be seen but it's hard to... So Ruth was serving and then Boaz said, Who is this damsel? And when he inquired of her, he says, No, this woman needs to be recognized. You left your land, Ruth left her land to come and serve her mother in law. This is the thing that pricked the man's heart and said, No, I've got to bless this one. Your serving will cause a king to recognize you. Oh my God, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can I talk to your church today? Your, your blessing is waiting on you to begin to serve. Because as you begin to serve, as you begin to hold up the man and woman of God's hand, the king that is looking for somebody to bless will come and locate you. So Lord, give me grace to serve. Give me grace to serve. Give me grace to serve. Give, give me grace to come out of my comfort zone. You know the problem with the church is uh, so, uh, there's a huge percent of the church that doesn't want to do anything. Uh, I'm alright where I'm at. Uh, I will come and worship. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do nothing. Listen, the world is waiting on you because as soon as you surrender, as soon as you say yes, uh, as soon as you surrender to the medial task like Ruth, that which the Father has prepared for you will begin to locate you. Somebody say, I'm ready to be located. Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh. Your serving will attract favor. Your serving will attract favor. Your serving will be recognized. Hallelujah. So Ruth was there. 
You can read about it in Ruth chapter 2, 1 to 30. Then Boaz said to his servant, who was in charge of the reapers, Whose young woman is this? So the servant was, who was in charge of the reapers answered and said, It is the young Moabite woman who came back with Naomi from the country of Moab and said, Please let me glean and gather after the reap. She was following the instructions of her mother-in-law. A very humble approach. And because of that, remember now, I want to take you a little bit in the story. Remember, Ruth didn't know the result. She didn't know the end result. I mean, we know the end result, so we can look at it now. But imagine you stepping out by faith in an uncomfortable situation in a humbling situation doing a medial task that which you were not accustomed to doing but in doing so one day <laughs> oh my god one day god is going to locate you one day you you have to be recognized number two you will be rewarded the bible says hebrews 6 and verse 10 for god is not unjust to forget your work and labor oh my god hebrews 6 and verse 10 i said for god is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love which you have shown toward his name in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. John 12 and verse 26 says, If anyone serves me, let him follow me. And where I am, there will be also. If anyone serves me, him my father will honor. Listen, serving rewards you in this life. But not only in this life, but in the life to come. There is nothing that will be counted as righteousness except for that which you do for the kingdom of God. Your serving will be rewarded in this life, but not only in this life, but in the life to come. What is it that you have done for God in this life? Show me what measure of your service has been accomplished in this life. Listen, it doesn't matter what task it is. Because so many times people look at the mic as the only place to serve, as, as the front line, as the only place to serve. But whether you are the person that cleans the church, whether you are the person that stands at the door, whether you are the person that is in the parking lot, every single thing, is needed you know i looked at the candle and i said you know this little candy here yes it would give off some fragrance and it would shift the atmosphere but guess what because of this space here it couldn't do it alone the effect that it could make it couldn't do it would take several more of these in order to shift this atmosphere and it showed me that without you and I coming together, giving of ourselves, the impact that we should make will not happen. It is impossible for First Lady and a man of God to do everything. There must be people that say, yes, I will surrender to do it. I will give of myself. Listen, I, I have a ministry and guess what? I cannot do it by myself. I need somebody else. And I recognize that if you and I don't say yes, our impact will be lessened. 
the level of our impact will be less but if you and i come together in agreement to give the effectiveness of our service will be greater i can look at this church now and i can look at worship and faith i can look at the people that have served and i can tell you that they have been blessed There are three ways you can give. The giving of your gift, your talent, the give, the giving of your, your time, time, treasure, talent. Your money, your time, your talent. And if you learn this strategy well, you will never run out of favor. You know, in my life, people of God, I can tell you this, that every single month there is somebody sows into my life. Automatically. Because I am a giver. And it's not something that I'm bragging about, but it's something I'm testifying about. Because consistently it has happened without asking. Sometimes I don't know these people, but they come and they locate me. Because when you have served to a certain capacity, this earth has to respond to you. Listen, the earth is cursed. The Bible says, By the sweat of the brow you shall embrace. But then it talks about. The blessings of Abraham. When we look at the life of Abraham, he was a servant. <laughs> because of his choice to stand up for righteousness, to give himself, to serve in the capacity that God has called him to serve, it was accredited unto him as righteousness. If you really want God to manifest in your life in a grand way, begin to serve. Begin to serve. You see, I was going to school and they blocked me out, couldn't pay my school fee. But I was a servant in the church. And all of a sudden my pastor said, no, I was a little teenage youth. Just going to school. Couldn't pay my school fee. Got blocked out. And my pastor said, You know, the Lord spoke to me. Let us give to Michael's school fee. No, no, you could say, Well, the church is supposed to do that. No, no, no. It was a defining moment for me. Because what? The very same night, I had one of the big silver chains. Me always bright. I love the fancy things. And I, the Lord spoke to me and he said, take off the chain and put it in the offering plate. Why it was prophetic for me the very night I put the thing in the offering plate. After they collected the offering, the church says we want to remember. God says we should remind, remember him now. And what was prophetic about it? The, the exact money that they gave me is the exact money I needed to register. Your reward will come in this life and the life to come. Can I prophesy to somebody? There are ways that you need to defeat the devil and serving is the one of them, is one of them. If you're in spiritual warfare, I want to let you know, don't sit at home and cry and ball. Come and put a dent in the enemy's kingdom by giving God your service. Mm -hmm. 
Some people say nothing now go on for me. Make something go on for you by lifting up the hand of God. You see, God always wants to something, you know, but He needs a servant. He needs a, a Moses needed a Joshua. The war was going on, but He needed somebody to hold up in His hand in warfare. I want to let you know you are the hands that God is looking for because Pastor can do it by himself. I can't do it by myself. Oh my God, can I hear? Can somebody agree with me? God is look for, looking for your service. He's looking for your giving to put a dent in the enemy's kingdom. It's a man of God, what you are talking about? The devil has his servants too. I see the devil raising up some people to guide our young children on the wrong path. We have got to look in this time. The devil is trying to raise up. So why are we not raising up? Ah, challenge your kids. Let them do something in the house of God. Let them learn from their young how to build the kingdom. How to serve the Lord. Let them serve the Lord with gladness. And oh my God. And come before his presence with singing be thankful unto him and bless his holy name somebody need to make a conscious decision today you need to make up your mind no retreat no surrender i know you can pray i know you can worship but while you have prayed and while you have given in worship say pastor what else can i do how can i serve this thing how can i help this thing go forward this thing needs Needs more hands, and I want to be one of them. Apostle testified, he said, when he was going to buy the piece of property, he had no money. And guess what happened? People signed up on the mortgage. Because they signed up, they couldn't buy a house within that time. They gave of them their character, their life. So that's... It cannot happen without that. Listen. Your pastor, as a man of God, as a woman of God, it doesn't matter how much money you have. You still need hands. It cannot happen with us, us, us coming out of our comfort zone. I said it cannot happen and he's looking for you to surrender it all. The last point, revival will happen when you give up your service to God. Revival, revival. It's not about you alone. If you heard a word and it blessed you, there are 10 more people that need to hear some things. There's 100 more people that need to hear some things. How can I give to cause a shift in this nation? Just imagine this. There is no church in Jamaica operating. Can you imagine what Jamaica will be? <laughs> I don't know why this ministry took so long, but uh, I can't imagine Spanish town without it. We need 10 more things like this right now. People who really are called and answer the thing the right way if you do the thing the right way. Listen, man shall not live by bread alone. Man need word. And if they are not getting word from the church, they are going to get it from somewhere else. Every single one of us are being led by something. And if you are not being led by the king of kings, you are being led by the devil. We need to charge ourselves us up and recognize that there is a work to do. We need to find people located them and bring them to the house of God so that they can be impacted to one word can cause a murderer to turn things around one word can cause a prostitute to think a different way one word can cause a child to rise up in their purpose in the mighty name of Jesus Christ so he says Isaiah 60 
verse 1 to 5 says, For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Whenever this lines up, the glory of the Lord is risen on you. When fire comes upon your life, the glory of God comes upon your life. When you begin to experience his fire, when you begin to experience his power, that's when the fire of God comes upon you. But not only that, the Bible says, and deep darkness, the people, but the Lord will arise over you. It means that darkness is all around us. But when we begin to light up, darkness disappears. There are so much ungodly things that are going, going on in this nation. There are so many ungodly things that are going on in Spanish Town. But can I tell you, when the church rise up and pray, Spanish Town of a calm dog, there needs to be some other people that will rise up in Montego Bay, that will rise up in Clarendon, that will rise up in St. Thomas and say no retreat, no surrender. I am going to shine and when you shine, it will muzzle the mouth of evil doers. It will cut down the works of darkness. It will shut down principalities and powers whenever you decide that you will light up the devil's kingdom will be coming down somebody tell your neighbor neighbor shine light up your city don't take the fire for yourself don't take the anointing for yourself take the anointing and impact your community take the anointing and drown out Satan and muzzle them out of the wicked can somebody say yes hey, hey, hey. and he said in his word and his glory will be seen on you when you begin to give his glory will be seen on you and then he said in his word the gentiles shall come to your light men will see you and them don't know what is it about you but they will be attracted by you oh, if they will be attracted to you because of what they see on you they don't quite understand but they say no 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 there is something about that man there is something about that woman and favor will begin to show up in your life in a radical way somebody say Lord cause me to light up cause me to shine cause me to light up the city the Bible says and kings to the brightness of your shining it means when you begin to give light it will attract it will attract it will attract the kings oh my god great men will see you I, I was praying at my desk in the corporate world and the manager of my manager called me in a meeting because he, of an idea I had and I said God look at this oh my god I, I, it wasn't protocol he breached protocol and he called me in a meeting because he had to talk to my boss first but he didn't bother with that he said no there is something on that man let me interview him let me talk to him when my manager employed me when I was leaving the company the woman said you know I wasn't going to employ you but she says something 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 bring me there is a still voice that is going to work for you there is a voice that is going to override the voice of the enemy that voice will begin to speak for you I want to let you know when you light up and cause the aroma in the atmosphere to shift it will cause great men to want to know you to want to locate you to want to find you to want to know your number to want to whatsapp you to want to know what is it about you they will want want to know which church you attend where do you worship i need to find your church i need to connect with you 
because there is something good on your life and I want to connect with it. Hey, hey, hey. Let me just close this thing and done. Let me just close this thing and done. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you come into an atmosphere like this, you come to light up. Whenever you light up, you come to carry the fire with you wherever you go. And whenever you light up in that community, in that region, it will attract favor. You want money to show up, you want blessing to show up, begin to light up like how you should. Don't sit on your call, don't sit on your anointing, don't sit on your glory, don't sit on it. Arise, Joseph. If arise and prophesy, there is a dream that you need to interpret. There is something that God is looking for you to do. Hey, 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 hey. Somebody said, Teach me, Lord. I, I want to serve. I, I want to do the right thing. I, I want to I want to do the right thing. I, I, I want to do the right thing. I, 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 want, I want to do it right. My God, my God, my God, my God. You know, I was at a function the other day. And let me tell you about this circle. Listen, I'm a pastor, but I'm a DJ. But sometimes they don't want the pastor coming at the artist thing. So sometimes, uh, where, where am I going, yeah, man? But I didn't re realize they respected my spirituality. Because it's like a thing, yo, we don't really want to be too spiritual. And I didn't recognize that they respected my spirituality because they never said it to me before. Uh, you understand? But I'm a real youth, so my reason with people, I talk with anybody, you know? But something significant happened. There was a session, a regular session, and my wife called me. I was outside, was going to leave the session. I was going to call her and tell her, I'm ready to go home. But then she called me and said, they're calling you in here to pray now. They're calling you. I said, okay. So me drag my foot now, I will say it done before I reach. Come and say, I don't really depend on the prior thing tonight. But when I reached there, I saw the man, one of them, teaching and sharing the word. I said, yes, you're doing good. And I said, oh, yes, I'm going to do the altar call now. Because concert life, you don't really do preaching and them things they are concert. Concert, you come to jump up and go home and do your thing. But they needed the prophetic because they needed something else. And several other pastors was there, but the man kept on preaching and then he said, Where is Minister Michael? And I said, Lord Jesus, I think you're done. We are going. But I realized that he recognized, I was recognized. What I'm showing you, people of God, is the same thing will happen to you. No, I didn't know that they recognized that I do. Because they never said it to me before. You understand what I'm saying? Never invited me to anything, concert, nothing at all. But this time, he said, I want you to pray. This man never asked me to pray yet. And I was shocked. And when he asked me to pray, we prayed. And the glory of God came down. People began to get slain. The power of God manifested in that place. I shared this to say with you. You don't know who's watching you. You don't know when God is going to reward you. He's going to recognize you. You don't know when you will cause revival.
the little that you put in the time you came the time you gave is adding up and whenever it is full it's going to run over it's going to run over it's going to run over i'm here to motivate you to arise to the call you think me have problem me have situations too i have things that i need to be dealt with but as you give up yourself in service God will sell the servants that's necessary. As you give of yourself, you'll make. You know, there was a young man that came and he washed my car. Let me give this testimony. He just came and he said, Man of God, I want to wash your car. He didn't have a car. And the day he came to wash the car, my neighbor that was beside me said, Please, can you wash my car for me? Maybe he's coming to wash my car for free. And the lady said, I, I pay you even $3,000 to wash my car right now. So look at that. He didn't have a vacuum, no, he just needed to wash off the car. And the man said, I pay you $3,000. Right now, that man has a car washing business. In two years, that. You never know what God is going to do with you if you surrender to give your light. Everybody stand, let us, let us pray. Let, may the yoke that says you will not serve be shattered. May the yoke that says you should stay in your comfort zone be shattered. May the yoke that says you will not give be shattered in the name of Feeling. Now, let her go. Let her go now. There's a sound. Just, just work with the people of God. There's a sound. There's a sound that he's looking for. Release a sound after three. Release a sound of thanksgiving. Release hallelujah. One, two, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's breaking up. Receive money, receive money, receive, 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 receive. My God, I shift up your bank account. I never 